Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. Doesn't matter what you're betting on, we've got you covered. So, we're going to look at five games for, in the NFL for week five. Before we do, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to this VIP club section, which, as you see, has all tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so there's only two undefeated teams left in the NFL. Philadelphia Eagles and the San Francisco 49ers and we're going to take a look at the 49ers and Cowboys game uh, at the end of this video but first we're going to take a look at some of the other matchups. Jacksonville and Buffalo. Buffalo comes in burning hot. You can see winners of their last three. They're three and one on the season and Jacksonville comes in average up one and two over their last three. You can see that Buffalo is a 5.5 uh, point home favorite with odds of 1.45 to 2.782. And the over underline you see is set here at 48.5. Um, you can see that it's a 62% chance for Buffalo to come out and win this game compared to 38 for Jacksonville. And this is right in line with the score prediction of Buffalo 40 and Jacksonville 19. Now, notice if this score would hold up, this would be over the line by quite a bit. Um, but the teams have been trending on opposite sides of the overall underline of late. Um, if we take a notice here that uh, Buffalo has covered the spread 80% of their last five games as a favorite, and they've also won 80% as a favorite status in their last five. So those are a couple of important things to take a look at. If you look at the power ranks indicator, you can see the upward trend for Buffalo. They're up to 27. And a downward trend, a steep downward trend for Jacksonville. They're at plus 13. Let's take a look at the movement in the money line. If there's been any for this week, and you can see there has been Buffalo opened at 1.51. Right here, you can see there's a sharp uh, move detected against the Buffalo Bills. That was on September 28th at 11.34 a.m., and now the current odds are at 1.45. Uh, so you can see still pretty good favorites in favor of Buffalo. I like the Bills to win and cover in this week in a game over the line. Next one is an AFC North battle, Baltimore and Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh comes in average status coming off of a bad 30 to uh, 6 loss at Houston, while Baltimore is coming off of a 28 to 3 thumping over Cleveland. So the teams are both average status at the moment, and um, Baltimore 3 and 1 on the season, while Pittsburgh's 2 and 2. You can see that Baltimore is a favorite on the road by 4.5 points, which translates to odds of 1.46 to 2.735. And the over under is very low at 38.5. But it's not a big surprise considering these two teams and the fact that uh, the last two games, both teams have been involved in games under the line. You see that Pittsburgh is given a 68% chance of covering the spread. And you can see that they have covered the spread in 80% of the last five games as an underdog. If you look at the power ranks indicator, you can see that Pittsburgh has been on an upward trend here, plus 25, even though it came off of a bad loss, I guess. Surprised that that has not dropped since then, but that's what this is showing. And Baltimore is at plus 21. If you take a look at the head-to-head -head matchup, interesting enough, last season teams split the games, and both of them won on the road. And I kind of like that trend to continue this one. I like Baltimore on the road, but I do like the Steelers covering. So Baltimore on the road, but the Steelers covering in a game under the line. So let's look at like a field goal score difference. Maybe Justin Tucker hits one late. Um, Carolina and Detroit. Here's a game of two teams heading in the opposite direction. You see Carolina has lost their last four. Detroit is 3-1 of the season, and they are a huge home favorite of 9.5 points. You look at the odds here at 1.21 to 4.42, and you can see a 77% chance here for Detroit, and also a 72% chance, though, of Carolina covering. Um, if you look at this, the five-star home favorites, which Detroit is, in a burning hot status, which Detroit is, are five and one over the last uh, 30 days. If we take a look at the power ranks indicator, not a big surprise here that Detroit is much higher, plus 26. Carolina took a nosedive. They were at 22 back on September 10th, and now they are at plus three. To take a look at any movements in the line, Lot of stuff here. There we go. The moves in the money line. Detroit opened at 1.3, and you can see what's happened over the course of the week. They've become increasingly uh, favorites, and now the line is at 1.21. So I don't really see much of a chance for Carolina in this one. Um, I don't even think they're going to cover. I like the lines by double digits in a game over the line. 
Houston and Atlanta, New Orleans and New England. Let's take a look at this one. Um, both teams coming in off of losses. You can see New Orleans have, has lost their last two, while New England is coming off of a loss. New England is one and three on the season, and the Saints are two and two. Look at the odds, even up at 1.91. The point spread is, is a slight 1.5 point road favorite for New Orleans, with a percentage chance of winning of 55%. And they have a 52% chance of covering as well. If you take a look at the over-under, the teams have been involved games under the line, and the over-under is at 39.5. So it's, it's a rather low over-under to start with, but not surprising considering the trend of these two teams. The score prediction has the game going slightly over 27 to 13 in favor of New Orleans, but the confidence in the prediction is only 59.5%. If you look at this chart, the power ranks indicator chart, New Orleans has dropped from 27 to 18, while New England climbed from 2 to 10. Let's take a look at the movement in the line, see what's been going on in, with regard to that. Um, Here's the Saints money line. You can see it opened at 2.1. There has been some movement to make uh, New Orleans the favorite. At and you see the current line here now at 1.909. I really don't see, despite how bad New Orleans, despite how bad uh, New England is, it's hard to see a Bill Belichick team start off one and four, particularly playing at home here. I do like the Patriots to come out on top in this one in a game under the line. Patriots by a field goal. Now there's a whole bunch of other games here, but the only other game we want to look at is we're going to scroll all the way down here. It's the Cowboys and the 49ers, which is going to be right down here. Let's just get there we go. Dallas and San Francisco. San Francisco comes in 4-0, burning hot. You can see it's coming off of a 19-point win over the Cardinals, and they won by 18 over the Giants. So they've been dominating teams the last two weeks. But the Cowboys dominated New England last week, 38-3. to um, Cowboys come in average up, San Francisco burning hot. San Francisco is a 3.5-point favorite with odds of 1.55 to 2.465. Pretty good chance that San Francisco comes out and wins this one outright, 66% chance. But there's a 76% chance for Dallas to cover. So this is looking like a field goal contest since the line's at 3.5. Um, the score prediction has San Francisco in a blowout. Confidence in the prediction is pretty high at 71%, but I'm not seeing this to be a 21-point game. Um, if you look at this, five-star home favorites in burning hot status are 5-1 and one in the last 30 games. That fits right in line with San Francisco. And let's take a look now at the power ranks indicator. San Francisco at plus 28 compared to plus 20 for Dallas. We take a look at the money line, as we always like to do. See if there's been a big movement or no movement. You see it open at 1.645 for San Francisco. You can see there's been quite a bit of movement here. Here there's a sharp move detected in favor of San Francisco at 3.02 p.m. on the 28th. And now here there was a sharp move detected against San Francisco. So, you know, things have been changing a bit, but in the end, San Francisco is still a favorite, and I like the 49ers to come away and win this game. Dallas to cover, San Francisco to win in a high-scoring game over the line. Okay, so there you have it. Those are the five games for the NFL for Week 5. Happy betting and see you.